have your Bible, join along with me and read. Now in the eleventh year, on the first month, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, because Tyre has said concerning Jerusalem, Aha, the gateway of the peoples is broken. It has opened to me. I shall be filled now that she is laid waste. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Tyre, and I will bring up many nations against you, as the sea brings up its waves. They will destroy the walls of Tyre, and break down her towers, and I will scrape her debris from her and make her a bare rock. She will be a place for the spreading of nets in the midst of the sea. For I have spoken, declares the Lord God, and she will become spoil for the nations. Also her daughters who are on the mainland will be slain by the sword, and they will know that I am the Lord. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will bring up on Tyre from the north Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, king of kings, with horses, chariots, cavalry, and a great army. He will slay your daughters on the mainland with the sword, and he will make siege walls against you, cast up a ramp against you, and raise up a large shield against you. The blow of his battering rams he will direct against your walls, and with his axes he will break down your towers. Because of the multitude of his horses, the dust raised by them will cover you. Your walls will shake at the noise of cavalry and wagons and chariots when he enters your gates as men enter a city that is breached. With the hoofs of his horses, he will trample all your streets. He will slay your people with the sword and your strong pillars will come down to the ground. Also, they will make a spoil of your riches and a prey of your merchandise, break down your walls and destroy your pleasant houses and throw your stones and your timbers and your debris into the water. So I will silence the sound of your songs and the sound of your harps will be heard no more. I will make you a bare rock. You will be a place for the spreading of nets. You will be built no more. For I, the Lord, have spoken, declares the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to Tyre, Shall not the coastlands shake at the sound of your fall when the wounded groan, when the slaughter occurs in your midst? Then all the princes of the sea will go down from their thrones, remove their robes, and strip off their embroidered garments. They will clothe themselves with trembling. They will sit on the ground, tremble every moment, and be appalled at you. They will take up a lamentation over you and say to you, How you have perished, O inhabited one, from the seas, O renowned city, which was mighty on the sea, she and her inhabitants, who imposed her terror, on all her inhabitants. Now the coastlands will tremble on the day of your fall. Yes, the coastlands which are by the sea will be terrified at your passing. For thus says the Lord God, when I make you a desolate city, like the cities which are not inhabited, when I bring up the deep over you and the great waters cover you, then I will bring you down with those who go down to the pit, to the people of old, and I will make you dwell in the lower parts of the earth like the ancient waste places, with those who go down to the pit, so that you will not be inhabited, but I will set glory in the land of the living. I will bring terrors on you, and you will be no more. Though you will be sought, you will never be found again, declares the Lord God. Chapter 27 Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, And you, son of man, take up a lamentation over Tyre, and say to Tyre, who dwells at the entrance to the sea, merchant of the people to many coastlands, thus says the Lord God, O Tyre, you have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the heart of the seas. Your borders have perfected your beauty. They have made all your planks of fir trees from center. They have taken a cedar from Lebanon to make a mass for you. Of oaks from Bashan, they have made your oars. With ivory they have inlaid your deck of boxwood from the coastland of Cyprus. 
Your sale was of fine embroidered linen from Egypt, so that it became your distinguishing mark. Your awning was blue and purple from the coastlands of Elisha. The inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your rowers. Your wise men, O Tyre, were aboard. They were your pilots. The elders of Gabal and her wise men were with you repairing your seams. All the ships of the sea and their sailors were with you in order to deal in your merchandise. Persia and Lud and Put were in your army, your men of war. They hung shield and helmet in you. They set forth your splendor. The sons of Arvid and your army were on your walls all around, and the Gametum were in your towers. They hung their shields on your walls all around. They perfected your beauty. Tarshish was your customer because of the abundance of all kinds of wealth. With silver, iron, tin, and lead, they paid for your wares. Javan, Tabal, and Meshech, they were your traders. With the lives of men and vessels of bronze, they paid for your merchandise. Those from Beth Tagorma gave horses and war horses and mules for your wares. The sons of Dedan were your traders. Many coastlands were your market. Ivory tusks and ebony they brought as your payment. Aram was your customer because of the abundance of your goods. They paid for your wares with emeralds, purple, embroidered work, fine linen, coral, and rubies. Judah and the land of Israel, they were your traders with the wheat of minute, cakes, honey, oil, and balm. They paid for your merchandise. Damascus was your customer because of the abundance of your goods, because of the abundance of all kinds of wealth, because of the wine of Helbon and white wool. Vida and Javan paid for your wares from Uzal. Wrought iron, cassia, and sweet cane were among your merchandise. Dedan traded with your saddle clothing for riding. Arabia and all the princes of Qadar, they were your customers for lambs, rams, and goats. For these they were your customers. The traders of Sheba and Rama, they traded with you. They paid for your wares with the best of all kinds of spices and with all kinds of precious stones and gold. Haran, Kanea, Eden, the traders of Sheba, Ashur, and Chilmad traded with you. They traded with you in choice garments, in clothes of blue, and embroidered work, and in carpets of many colors, and tightly wound cords which were among your merchandise. The ships of Tarshish were the carriers for your merchandise, and you were filled and were very glorious in the heart of the seas. Your rowers have brought you into great waters. The east wind has broken you in the heart of the seas. Your wealth, your wares, your merchandise, your sailors and your pilots, your repairs of seams, your dealers in merchandise, all your men of war who are in you, with all your company that is in your midst, will fall into the heart of the seas on the day of your overthrow. At the sound of the cry of your pilots, the pastures' lands will shake. All who handle the oar, the sailors, and all the pilots of the sea will come down from their ships. They will stand on the land, and they will make their voice heard over you, and will cry bitterly. They will cast dust on their heads. They will wallow in ashes. Also, they will make themselves bald for you and gird themselves with sackcloth and they will weep for you in bitterness of soul, with bitter mourning. Moreover, in their wailing, they will take up a lamentation for you and lament over you. Who is like Tyre, like her who is silent in the midst of the sea? When your wares went out from the seas, you satisfied many peoples with the abundance of your wealth and your merchandise. You enriched the kings of the earth. Now that you are broken by the seas in the depths of the waters, your merchandise and all your company have fallen in the midst of you. All the inhabitants of the coastlands are appalled at you, and their kings are horribly afraid. They are troubled in countenance. Their merchants among the people hiss at you. You have become terrified, and you will cease to be forever. Chapter 28. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Son of man, say to the leader of Tyre, Thus said the Lord God, because your heart is lifted up and you have said, I am God, I sit in the seat of gods, in the heart of the seas, yet you are a man and not God. Although you make your heart like the heart of God, 
Behold, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is a match for you. By your wisdom and understanding, you have acquired riches for yourself and have acquired gold and silver for your treasuries. By your great wisdom, by your trade, you have increased your riches and your heart is lifted up because of your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have made your heart like the heart of God, therefore behold, I will bring strangers upon you, the most ruthless of the nations, and they will draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. They will bring you down to the pit and you will die the death of those who are slain. In the heart of the seas, Will you say, I am God? In the presence of your slayer, though you are a man and not God, in the hands of those who wound you, you will die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers, for I have spoken, declares the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation over the king of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, You had the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering, the ruby, the topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the lapis, lazuli, the turquoise, and the emerald, and the gold, the workmanship of your settings and sockets was in you. On the day that you were created, they were prepared. You were the anointed cherub who covers, and I place you there. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked in the midst of the stones of fire. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created until righteous unrighteousness was found in you. By the abundance of your trade, you were internally filled with violence and you sinned. Therefore, I have cast you as profane from the mountain of God and I have destroyed you, O covering cherub. From the midst of the stones of fire, your heart was lifted up because of your beauty your, you corrupted your wisdom by reason of your splendor. I cast you to the ground. I put you before kings that they may see you. By the multitude of your iniquities and the unrighteousness of your trade, you profaned your sanctuaries. Therefore, I have brought fire from the midst of you. It has consumed you, and I have turned you to ashes on the earth in the eyes of all who see you. All who know you among the peoples are appalled at you. You have become terrified and you will cease to be forever. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, set your face towards Sidon, prophesy against her and say, thus says the Lord God, behold, I am against you, O Sidon. I will be glorified in your midst. Then they will know that I am the Lord when I execute judgments in her, and I will manifest my holiness in her, for I will send pestilence to her and blood to her streets and the wounded, the wounded will fall in her midst. By the sword upon her on every side, then they will know that I am the Lord. And there will be no more for the house of Israel a prickling briar or a painful thorn from any roundabout them who scorn them. Then they will know that I am the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, when I gather the house of Israel from the peoples among whom they are scattered and will manifest my holiness in them, in the sight of the nations, then they will live in their land which I gave to my servant Jacob. They will live in it securely, and they will build houses, plant vineyards, and live securely when I execute judgments upon all who scorn them around about. Then they will know that I am the Lord their God. friend welcome to fear into faith global bible revival where we're on a mission to get a million people to read the word of god cover to cover in a year i'm your host summer day and with me in the studio is shalil Harmon. yes did i do it I, you got it did i do it did you i do it, it. <laughs> Ooh, i like that name shalil thank you so pretty you said you were named after your grandma my grandmother this is a funny story actually. i want to hear it so, i like funny stories her name is lily may my first name is April. Shalil's my middle name. So there's May, there's April, and my mom's name is Joe. 
And I'm summer day. Thank you. We'll be here all night. <laughs> so good. April, May, and June. I love it. Yeah. Beautiful. So that's your middle name. My middle name. And you just started going by your middle name? I do. Why? Um, Because I felt like April died. Like who I was Ooh. had to go. And wow. God wanted me to take on the new name in the new season as the new creation that I am. That's so, awesome. I yeah. usually start off with like, who are you, where you're from? Let's just get to that. Like, <laughs> what? Tell me more about that. Uh, what happened a year ago? A year ago, I was convinced that my purpose, not, let me say not my purpose has shifted, but the means to achieving my purpose had changed. It wasn't what I thought it was when mm-hmm. I was in that season of being April, being, being, faithful somewhat but lukewarm and not Mm -hmm. all the way in and like Mm -hmm. still trying to like figure out who I was and like lean on God for that but not really lean and all the way into God and as he started to reveal to me my purpose in him and what it really looked like and who I really am the old version of me didn't fit anymore the Mm -hmm. name didn't fit anymore and so he moved me into going by this new name especially as it relates to my artistry because I didn't know that I was an artist either and that my purpose was all wrapped up in my creativity and I was about to trying to do the corporate thing and do the real estate thing and all of that and he was like no you go create (laughs) you go create yeah I love it so you're an artist what kind of artist multidisciplinary so I do music film writing I dance I write plays I write scripts I build uh, art installation and immersive experiences and really anything the Lord puts in me I do because I'm kind of still figuring out what kind of artist I am because it's so new um yeah you might want to narrow down you're like you sculpt too I am actually about to do some of that. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Okay. I know I asked you this earlier, but I, I, I talked to you about the immersive experiences mm-hmm. for people that are watching that don't know what that is. What's an immersive experience? So an immersive experience is when you go to a place and when you enter that place, it's like a whole new world. Mm -hmm. So you're immersing yourself into whatever the design of that world is. So like if we wanted to turn this into like the nativity scene, right? And immerse people into that and make them do things and they get to walk up and like pet a lamb or whatever. So it's do that at a church where I'm from in California. Yeah. Okay. And so now they have immersive experiences where it's like, you know, foot traffic, it's in a retail space and it's open. 60 to 180 days for however long they have them Mm -hmm. for movies and different tv shows like the office has an immersive and experience where you literally go in and you feel like you're on the set of the office like you're in it and so it's taking a concept and really bringing people in it to where they feel like they are a part of it nice so good what made you want to start doing that um the music turned into the immersive um and it was something that the lord had given me vision for in 2017 but i didn't really know that it was for me i thought i was going to be building these types of things for other artists you thought you were going to build the immersive experiences for immersive experiences okay. like these larger than life concepts mm-hmm. like i had i have a journal of just like ideas and designs and i was like lord why am i having all this i thought i was going to be an event planner <laughs> and but it wasn't it wasn't aligning in that way it wasn't making yeah. sense yeah. but yeah it just I just kind of got vision from God for mm-hmm. all this stuff it, it, it wasn't it didn't exist when I thought about it <laughs> I did I hadn't seen it before I didn't know what it was I was just writing what I saw yeah yeah so how did the music stuff start then oh <sighs> so in 2016 I co-founded a music studio in Austin on 6th Street and it was all things uh unlike God and secular and rappers and drugs and all of these things. And I was like walking around like, Lord, why am I here? That was my first encounter with music, um, being like the back end of the business, running the studio, getting people booked and all of these things. And I kept trying to figure out why am I here? There was, there was a disconnect. Mm-hmm. And so after that, I just went back into real estate. I started focusing on selling homes and doing all the things. And then towards the end of 2019, right before 2020 started, yeah. COVID broke out. Mm-hmm. I wrote a song um, and I thought that I was going to give that song to some artists to actually go and use. And so as you I just thought you were going to be a songwriter. Right. Okay. And as I continued to write, I was like, no, I'm going to record this. Um, so I went to record it and I sent it out to people and they were like, when did you start doing this? And I was like, today. <laughs> Had you today? sung before? No. And, and the thing is, it wasn't music and singing. It's it's 
faith-based rap music. Come on. And then later on, the singing has the singing has come out now, but at that time, it was just straight rap music. And so I, you were rapping. I was rapping, and that was so you know you got to rap for us, right? <laughs> I might do something. Come on. <laughs> Not Mike. We're ready. Oh, gosh. I want to hear a little hear. bit of your rap. Okay. You want to hear a little bit. Um, I've heard very little Christian rap. So what's you're your gonna, favorite, favorite Bible You're going to wow me whenever. Well, I teach a lot about Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life send the power of the tongue, and those who love it shall eat its fruit. Shall eat its fruit. Okay. You're just going to make something up right now? No, I, I, my, my music has a lot of scripture woven into nice. it, so I wanted to see if you would give me a bar so that I could spit a bar. Well, does okay. that help? Do you need a different one? No. Fear into faith uh, scripture is Second Timothy 1, 7, which is God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound oh mind. No, I don't have that one. I can't think of that one. But I will give you something. Um, hmm. I've been reaping. I've been sowing. Harvest now, you know I'm growing. Everything he ever told me came to pass, and now I'm knowing. Saying down, I'm never folding. So my soul, they can't afford it. If you were called, but I'm chosen. I got that. That's as much as I got right now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I yeah. love it. It's so good. Thanks for being put on the spot yeah. like that. Amazing. So you had no plans to do any of this and you suddenly just no. started rapping. Started rapping. Did I, you know you could rap? I, like, would you rap in the car with the windows up and nobody knew? Yeah. Okay. And, and at home by myself and like yeah. literally the same, This after I recorded that song, I had an encounter with the Lord and mm -hmm. I was in my kitchen and I kept saying, bada, 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 bada. And I said, Lord, what is, what is that? And I looked it up and it means to create in Hebrew. Wow. And the Lord was like, you're going to do this. And I was like, I'm going to do this. So I kept writing songs. And as I continued to write songs, I realized, oh, this is an album. And then it just kind of, yeah, we're here now, four years okay. later. So yeah. your first album came out? No, it's unreleased. I've been working. Oh, God is interesting. I've been working on the same project for four years and it's, it's frustrating because the industry, right, like makes you feel like you put it together, you make the music, you pick a single, you roll it out. Mm -hmm. God was like, nope, you're going to turn this whole album into a devotional journal and that's the first thing you're going to put out. <laughs> So the journal's out there, but okay. the music's not. How do people get the devotional journal? So the devotional is on my website, uh, therealshalil.com. Nice, that's so good, <laughs> therealshalil. Therealshalil.com. Nice. Um, yeah, it's on the website. So good. And you know what? Depending on when they're watching this, the songs and stuff might already be on there. So Maybe. you should go check it out if you didn't already check it out. You can, can pre-order the album on the site. Nice. Yeah. So good. So devotional, album, experiences. What else? Film. Oh, yeah, film. Why not? Same project. Tell me about film. So um, when I finished the album, the industry would say, it's time to make music videos. Okay. So I was like, okay, God, we're going to make some music videos. He was like, no, no, good. No, you're going to make a film. Oh, <laughs> and well like, then. My okay, I want to pause you right there. <laughs> That's a great place to pause. It's like a movie preview. So we're going to pause you, take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> great job. Science Fiction Fans, Volume 3 of the Richard series by Michael W. Hickman won a big award. Voted Best Sci-Fi Space Opera for 2023 by audiobookreviewer.com. And now, Volume 4 is available. Richard, War Erupts by Michael W. Hickman. Science Fiction lovers, read or listen to the complete audiobook series at audible.com, amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, or richardbooks.com. Shalil, the real Shalil, yes, and you thought, okay, I, I made this album. Next up is music video, and God's like, no, do a whole film. Yeah, do a whole film. <laughs> Your life sounds like my life. <laughs> the God is always like, no, do this instead. It's the Holy Spirit hijacking. We it's just the Holy about. Spirit hijacked. <laughs> yep. So a whole film is a full length film. It's thirty six minutes. Okay, that's still really much longer than the average music video. What was it? Um, Michael Jackson had Thriller. That was like what eighteen minutes? Yeah, I and that know. was one song. <laughs> So 36 minutes. 36 minutes. Did you write it? I wrote it. Did you produce it? Executive producer. Did you act in it? I am the main actor in it. Do you uh, walk on water? 
<laughs> no, <I'm not> doing- <laughs> you're just doing all the things. Wow. And so what's your what's your vision for the film? What's it called? It's called Shine. The whole project is called Shine. The album, the journal, the film. Why the is it called Shine? <sighs> First thing is that in the music, I kept this word shine kept coming out in the lyrics. Mm-hmm. Um, and as I'm going, keep in mind, I'm going through this process and doing something I've never done before. Mm-hmm. And so there's this stretching that I'm having to do. There's self-discovery. There's mm-hmm. starting, I'm starting to like my voice. For my entire life, I would never listen to, when I sent that audio out, I had never listened to my voice before. I wouldn't listen to it. When I was younger, um, I was at my auntie's house and a high school boy called my cousin and I answered the phone and he goes, who was that little boy on the phone? And ever since then, I hated my voice and I would never listen to it. So it took me over 20 years to listen to my voice and the whole time God wanted to use my voice yeah, in music and in so many mm-hmm. other things. And so I was going through that process because the first time that I wrote the song that I told you about, I wasn't even sounding like myself yet. Mm-hmm. I was trying to imitate yeah. what I had heard on yeah. radio and what I thought a female African-American rapper was supposed to sound like, right? Mm-hmm. I was trying to do that. I hadn't yeah. I fit hadn't, in a box. It, God was working through me. There was a pro- uh-huh. I was going through this process with Yeah. Me. Yeah. yeah. And so where was I with that? We were asking me a question. You you had never listened to your thing. You didn't really have your voice. I asked why it was called Shine. That. And the process of finding myself and finding my voice and really understanding that what, what it means to let your light shine is mm-hmm. obviously to let God express himself through you authentically. Mm-hmm. I had went all this time not even knowing I didn't sound like myself yet, you know, and that I hadn't fully stepped into my gifting yeah. and had no understanding of how my light could shine. Yeah. And so yeah. the the shine became my journey. It became what I was seeking after. It became the understanding and the revelation of like yeah. who we are and why we are. And like people need to see this. They need to hear this. And mm-hmm. the story behind everything that I've done up until the music was always like in the background mm. and helping other people and always serving. I have over 10,000 hours of volunteer service hours. Wow. So I'm always serving. I'm never the one out front actually shining. Wow. And doing something by myself with the Lord that was just for me. Obviously, it's going to bless other people, but yeah. it was just me and him. It wasn't me, him, and all of them. Yeah. And, and now he's building a team, but yeah. you get what I mean? And so this yeah. was the first time that I decided to be on camera. I didn't make, I'd never been on video. I had never done any of those things. And I'd grown up my whole life and people were like, you're gorgeous, you should model, you should do all these things. But I was I also had camera fright mm. um, my whole life. Wow. So all I'm going to pause, go ahead, right. because this is like, what a story that mm. like it's never too late. It's never too late for it's God to use late. your voice or it's never too late for for God to just flip the script on you and do something wild and crazy. And I love that you were talking about you started doing it, but you just imitated. I think a lot of times that's what happens mm-hmm. is we imitate or we do what we think, you mm-hmm. know, someone would want from us. Mm-hmm. And, but when you tap into your own authentic, real glorious self that God hand knitted unique and special and different that's when people shine yeah. and some people do shine in the backstage yeah, absolutely some people do shine over here front of stage or mm-hmm. whatever but I think people so much feel like they have to be a certain thing but all you got to be is you all you got to be rooted in him and then he's going to use you so I love that it took you time to find your authentic mm-hmm. voice that is so cool Man, you just been on a wild ride. That's a lot to get done in that amount of time. It's 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 Book, been a lot. Album, film. What's next? Um, releasing all of this. Mm-hmm. Um, and and the funny thing is, is I, I was, think what's next is you're gonna sing on our stage in our event coming up. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> I, 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 I like performing now too. I never, I hadn't done that since high school. I used to like yeah. dance and step and stuff. Nice. But, um, I would love to do that, but I think releasing everything. Yeah. And really sharing the messages that are within the music yeah. um, even now like the, the journal is in a bible study format you can check out the rest of this interview right here or by going to biblerevival.tv and if this show has blessed you you can help us bless others by partnering with us for as little as $20 a month and help us to expand the reach of this show 
We'd also like to invite you to join our Kingdom Discipleship Program, where you have an opportunity to get on weekly Bible Zoom calls with us and people around the world to deep dive into His Word. And you can check all that out at BibleRevival.tv. I'll see you next time, my friend.